populate list type of fields in service now in incident form so let's understand the requirement today so what they are trying to understand um, what they are trying to uh, give the requirement let's understand so in the incident form we have a field called the list the type of the field is called list so let me open one of the example incident so this is an incident and in this incident we have a various kind of uh, type of uh, field so one of the type called in uh, watch list and this is type of list okay so from the script they want to populate some value in this list and it, this could be a different condition let's say that for example i am saying that if the incident type is a phone the list will be some other like this value will be some different and if that is the email the value will be some different so let's understand correctly depending on this uh, channel type or the type this value will be different like watch list value will be different now question is that how we can set this value because in today's session we'll discuss that how we can set the value we are not going to talk about that um, the best practice or maybe uh, what mechanism we should use but the or what are the opportunity we have to set that but instead of that we are saying that how we can set this value of the watch list depending on this value called contact type to, to, to implement that there are various um, options we have so like we can implement through the client script we can implement through the business rule depending on what type of things you need it so if we implement through the client script it will be on change like somebody changed this value it will automatically update that value if we do the business rule whenever we will update after update we'll see these changes so depending on what we are building or what we what is the expectation based on that we can set that okay so in our requirement i am going to implement through the business rule so depending on your use case you can implement again so what business rule what things we are going to implement we are going to implement through the business rule so we'll say that business rule and definitely it's a before and then method we are going to use the current method let's implement through the business rule so first the point i'm trying to make here that we would should know that how we can set this value of this watch list or maybe the list type of field value to do that i am going to create a, a new business rule under this business rule module i'm going to create a new business rule click new now here we can put the name let's say that i'm going to put that this is the name here we should put the table name so we can put the table equal to incident so i'm going to select the table equal to incident when should run it should run on the update and then i'm selecting the advanced option so that i can write the script here i'll go to the advanced option and start writing the code let's write the code first thing first we should decide that on which type we want to populate what value so let's say that if the contact right so this contact type is phone we want to populate some value so i'll copy and then say that if current dot contact type equal to equal to phone so this value is the phone so we put that phone okay and then if that is satisfied we want to do some perform the action so current means this business tool is running so we can use the current object and using that any field name so this is the field name to contact type so current dot contact type equal to equal to phone in this case we want to set some value right what value we want to set we want to set the watch list value okay so we'll say that current dot watch list and then we should set some value so we need to be pass some value now we have to understand before we pass the value we have to understand that this is a list it means that we can select multiple value and this is a reference kind of thing so we it is referencing to the another table called cc user table so it means that um it is holding the c side basically right so what we'll do we'll go to the cc user table for that so it is pointing to the cc user table so we are going to uh, open the cc user table and let's say that if somebody select the phone we want to sell the help text so we'll copy this cc id of that and set here and then we want to set 
as a end user so these two value you want to set okay so we'll put the comma and then put the value so let's say that help desk and end user so what i am saying that let's understand one more time so what i am saying that if contact type is phone so current dot contact type equal to phone i want to set value current dot watch list equal to now i have to pass the sys id of the user table because this is pointing to the user table so i want to pass the sys id whatever value i want to set now if we want to set multiple value we need to pass by comma one by one so this is one sys id this is another sys id so this way we can set as many as sys id we want let's say else if it is not phone i want to clear this value okay so i want to say that current dot watch list equal to equal to black so this might be my condition i am putting that and let's save that and see it is working or not i'll simply save that and remember that i am writing in this on before business rule and that's the reason i don't need to use the current dot update basically in the business rule you should not or it is not advisable to use the current dot update either in before business rule or maybe in after after business rule so it is not recommended to use current dot update so for before business rule you do not need to be uh, use the current dot update at all let's go back to that incident list and find out any um, any in progress uh, incident maybe a not closed incident so i'll open any inc incident which is maybe in progress so let's see this one so this is the incident which is in uh, new state and if i go back right now watch list is empty if i change this to phone and save that there should be to value into this watch list i'll just right click and save and you can see as per uh, the sys id it is set user one and end user maybe this two sys id that i have copied wrong sys id so let's check that I'll copy this uh, sys id and go back and search here i probably pick different one sys id is one of and then put this sys id and run yes so end user and help desk and you can see actually their user id is end underscore user and help desk you uh, the backend name is user one that's the reason it is showing that user one so this sys id user id is help test but the name is user one so it is set correctly now if i just change to the email and it should clear the value right now let's see and you can see this watch list cleared so this way we can depending on what we are expecting like if we select the phone again it will be update and set as a this two value right so this way you can set any list kind of a field value if i right click and then click the show and you can see that type is the client list and here we can set that so remember that for reference we need the sys id for list we can pass multiple sys id by comma separated so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day